Hello. I don't believe we've met. You'd know if you met me. You wouldn't know for long, but it would be memorable. So here we are on the border of Montana and Idaho. This is a place you'd imagine existing in Montana, and you'd be right. Is that because we're right about Montana, or because Montana residents know what we're thinking and are willing to capitalize on it? History of this world is folks capitalizing on the hardship that's been handed to them because they have to survive somehow, and then being scolded or demonized for doing so. See, we didn't start this. You've been doing this to yourself for a long time. I followed Keisha here. She doesn't know that, of course. The claim to fame of this place is that they have 50,000 silver dollars stuck to their walls. Except they say it's actually more than that now. Even their claim to fame is confused and incorrect. I love it. I love confusion. Confusion is where I live. It's where I work. The largest gift shop in Montana. You can buy a knife for $5. I bought 10. Never enough knives. Not if you know how to use them. They're cheap, sure. But even cheap can cut. Dream catchers with a wolf printed on them. Pink cowboy hats with silver bangles. Toy horse heads on sticks so you can pretend to ride a horse or pretend to carry a decapitated horse head on a stick. Inspirational and funny signs to buy. Say things like, A closed mouth gathers no foot. And... We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. Cute. This one says, what happens at grandma's never happened. Um, interesting. What exactly happened at grandma's? I think legally you may have to tell someone. Animatronic statues, angels that flap their wings, wolves with mouths that open and shut. Horrifying. Wonderful. It'll give children nightmares. Less work for me. When people say anything is possible, they usually mean that positively, but that's only because they're not thinking those words through. Think about if anything is possible, how many truly horrible things are possible? Like my girl said, freedom is not good or bad. There can be terrible freedom. I'm not hiding. Keisha walked right past me. Didn't know who I was, and why would she? If Alice was here, maybe Alice could warn her. But of course, Alice isn't here. I am. Alice Isn't Dead Part 2 Every other Tuesday starting April 4th.